Well, hello and welcome back to the channel. We're on another little mini adventure today. Today we've come down to Plymouth Barbican. Um, we can have a little walk along here, have a coffee and that. Just an excuse to go up for a ride, really. Um, yeah, really cold ride, actually, so... It was this morning, yeah. I'm looking forward to have a co hot coffee and something to eat. So we found a biker cafe, nice-looking coffee shop now that we haven't been to, so that's the main reason we're here. But uh, being that we are here, we'll uh, show you around the Barbican and uh, show you what's to offer around here. And obviously, Captain Jasper's is a place for bikers to always meet up, so if you're ever in Plymouth... Yeah, he head down to the Barbican and you can come down to Captain Jasper's. That's more sort of like burgers and stuff, but there's plenty of bike parking here, as you may be able to see behind. Yeah, and guarantee you're going to meet some bikers. Oh, yeah, no doubt. <laughs> no matter what day or time it is, people come down here. Yeah. known for the naval history. There's so much history around here. There's plaques all over the place relating to the Mayflower and um, various other ships that you may have heard of. So it seems like very many important ships have sailed from here. My favourite one is sending three Dorset farmers to, as prisoners to Australia. But they, they were pardoned for being sent on the boat. Yeah. They were pardoned from their crimes. So, yeah, it's quite interesting. You can have a walk around and read all the plaques. And, uh, we're obviously not going to bore you with the details, but... But there's, there's World War II history stuff here as well, isn't there, from the Navy, and there's some huge Navy buildings. I think there's a museum here as well you can have a look at if that interests you. But we're more interested in coffee shops, right? I'm hungry. Yeah, that's good. <laughs> an old navy port walking along the streets here every other place seems to be a pub the house that jack built is that a straight jacket for you yeah this apparently is the house that jack built and it's weird in there come and have a look at this yeah that's some tricky mushroom How random is this? Well, wow, that's one of the weirdest shopping centres I've ever seen. There was a third tarot shop, actually. Tarot shops, witch shops, some weird fountain thing going on in there. Do you think back in the day they would have like tarot readings in uh, marine towns in the? Uh... I think, um, yeah, like old Navy people, they were quite superstitious, weren't they? Maybe that's weird. Who knows? There's a lot of weirdos around here. <laughs> Not just us today. <laughs> this is the famous Plymouth Gin Distillery. Which we're not going to be trying. We're not going to try? No. Oh. They don't have the zero version. Now, Harleys aren't my thing, but that thing is pretty damn cool, isn't it? You don't often see a Harley with a big old chain drive. I don't know what year that is, but I suspect it's quite an old one. McPherson's Motorcycles and the Pit Stop Cafe. I don't know how long this one's been around. Can we go in there? That's workshop. Where can we park? Yeah, you can just park where the boards are. I've seen the bikes parked there before. Up here? Yeah. Oh, 
be riding him in a minute. Be a drive through. All right, so we've seen online this place is supposed to be cool. Let's go and have a look. Huh? Oh, wow, how cool. I love this Chesterfield so fast. Don't you? It's beautiful. Look at that. Yeah? Just sit here and mind the door. Good of you, this, isn't it? Yeah, it's really good. Nice People coffee. watching. Black and gold, your favourite colours. I love it. This just could be my new favourite place. Oh, it is very cool. Let's go see if the coffee's any good. Gary, we're told. And Gary's done a fantastic job. It just feels like so much effort and attention to details went into creating this cafe. I really like it. Yeah. I like the black walls, like everything about it. So we've uh, ordered some food, we'll get some coffee not in a minute. Not some food, not some. We got um, Biker's Benediction, which is basically chorizo, bacon, chili jam, with poached eggs. Hollandaise sauce nice. and toasted bagel. But all of it's from the local butcher brought here as well. It's not some um, frozen 3663 rubbish. So that's uh, that's how we like it. Yeah, a bit posh, isn't it? Posh. Really nice here. I like it. I love all, everything painted black and that's really cool. Oh, oh that looks spawn, doesn't it? Look at that. Oh my god, I can't wait to eat this. And it has my favourite streaky bacon. Oh, yeah, <laughs> it's got the wrong bacon. <laughs> oh, look at that. I've been waiting for this all day. All I had was an apple. <laughs> oh, nice. And a streaky bacon. That's still the wrong bacon. I don't care what you say. It's a lovely. It doesn't matter what it is. Streaky and bacon's also, they, oh, I, they do make pancakes with bacon and maple syrup. So maybe we can have something after this if we can fit it. <laughs> <laughs> the menu did look really good, though. We struggled to pick one, didn't we? <laughs> yeah. Really nice. Right, let's tuck in while it's good. This is as good as it looks. That's amazing. Your kind of shirt, look at that. Death before decaf. They're quite nice, aren't they? They're cool. I like that. I always like these jumpers. Turn it round, so that's the back. I'll always like these ones with a small design on the front and then the bigger image on the back. Yeah, look what I got. So it turns out the lady on the coffee actually makes the cakes here herself. Look at that. Biscoff, Rocky Road. That does look good, doesn't it? And a nice looking espresso. I like it actually. So what do you say? Are you coming back here? Yeah, I think we've inadvertently found one of our favourite biker cafes. In the area, yeah. Uh, it's really nice there, yeah. All the food's really good. It looks really smart in here. You've got some nice t-shirts and jumpers. I might have to get one of those. They look really cool. I like the branding. There isn't very much parking at the front, but apparently you can ride in your bike into the workshop if it's free enough. Ah, yeah, cool. So, did you like your pit stop? I like that place. Good coffee, good food, nice atmosphere. Yeah. Looked really funky and trendy, didn't it? So, um, yeah, we highly recommend that cafe there. Hopefully you enjoyed the ride. If you liked the video, like and subscribe and we'll see you next time. Also, if you guys want to join the On The Road Adventures Riders group on Facebook, you can come and join us there. We're building a bit of a community and uh, hopefully in the future we're going to have some ride outs and meet ups and stuff. So search Facebook On The Road Adventure Riders group. We'll see you on the road again next time.